Hey, welcome back. I'm so glad you're back. I missed you. We are on page 12 of your study guide. We are on lesson eight, and let's get right to it. If you're following along in your Bible, it's Genesis 1, 14 through 19, but you don't have to. You can just listen to Nana. And God said, let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth and it was so god made two great lights the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night he also made the stars god set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth to govern the day and the night and to separate light from darkness and God saw there was good, it was good, and there was evening and morning the fourth day. So I just wanted to point out, because I have found this amazing for so many years. It just it just stuns me that God created light, but he didn't create our light source until day four. Now, he himself is light, but... He spoke into the darkness and created light. And so light came on the earth the second day and the third day and the fourth day with no sun to give the light. That blows Nana's mind right there. Mind blown. So on day four, in your book, it says day four. God created, and you're going to write sun, S-U-N, because that's the greater light to govern the day, right? The sun, the moon, that's the greater light to govern the night. So sun is S-U-N, S-U-N, the moon, M-O-O-N, moon, and the stars, S. T A R S. Sun, S U N, moon, M O O N, and the stars, S T A R S. Stars. Now, um, there was a point I was going, oh, and they, he gave us, God gave us the sun, the moon, and the stars to mark. Sacred times, which are celebrations, like, so we would know where we were in our year and, it, and days and years and seasons. He gave us so we could see, we have a calendar that we use. Um, they, in the beginning of people, and, and you know, sailors, when sailors were um, just exploring the world, like, you know, in... 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. They used the stars and the sun where it was in the sky and where the stars were in the sky as maps to help navigate where they were going to go and to mark where they were and what day it was and the seasons and all that. So God gave us seasons and months and days and years and celebrations God in the Hebrew calendar and his people later in the day, later on in creation, later in the time, he's going to give them certain festivals and certain things to remember and to celebrate. And, you know, we celebrate Jesus's birthday, which is Christmas. We, we celebrate Jesus's birthday and Christmas and we celebrate Good Friday when Jesus was crucified on the cross. And on Sunday, on Easter, we celebrate his rising from the dead, don't we? Yes. So, the sun, the moon, the stars, and that's kind of in our science, and it's in our math. That's where they're intertwined, is because um, math is the counting, and then the observation is the science part. Isn't God awesome? Because he knew we would want to know. He made us curious. So on day four, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. I love you. You have a good day. Oh, I'm